Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with a whole slew of smart drives with uh, five different styles of cages. And Scott Bunker here is going to talk about what these cages are and some of the changes that have happened to the smart drive between Gen 7 and Gen 8. Absolutely. So with, starting with our new uh, DL380 Gen 8, we now have the capability to be able to pick from any uh, of these five front-end drive cages for any of our 2U Gen 8 servers. That includes the DL380E, the DL380P, as well as the 385. Um, each drive cage has got a, a, a certain customer usage case and application in mind. Uh, the, the base model server offering uh, starts off with the eight small form factor drive cage, suitable for boot drives and additional storage for the customers. Uh, we also offer two of these eight drive cages with 16 cages that are, that are SSD optimized. Each cage can have a, a different host bus adapter or smart array rate controller in it uh, to help uh, optimize the, the uh, IOPS and bandwidth that uh, come with the faster uh, SSD drives that we offer. The 25 small form factor cage is suitable for building up IOPS using spinning media disks where the name of the game is to have as many small form factor spindles that, that you can fit within the volumetric space. So it's kind of like having a JBOD integrated in your server with that many disks. The bottom two drive cages are there to optimize for capacity. So if you can imagine with the three terabyte smart drive, you can fit 12 of those in the front of any 2U server building up to 36 terabytes of usable capacity all inside of, all inside of your server. All right, and I've noticed that uh, these have some indicator lights on them that uh, seem to do a variety of things. And I'm curious, what are the, what's different about the indicator lights? Well, the design point that we're, that we're going after is we wanted to first start off and, and reduce the size of our drive carrier to help enable uh, being able to put the, uh, all these drive cage options in any 2U server. In the past, the expander cage options were only offered in a specialty server, and we needed to shrink our drive cage just by a little bit in order to offer these cages in, in any server. But while we were doing that, we, we uh, took, took into an account uh, what we could do to improve the usability uh, look and feel of our new uh, HP smart drive. So what, what we attempted to do was uh, have icons that are more self-describing to provide a, an intuitive uh, look with icons that customers are used to seeing to where they can walk up and, and uh, recognize what, what the status is without having to have any sort of lookup table to identify what, 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 a, what an individual light is showing. So if we walk through some of the lights here, you'll notice that we have a new activity spinner that rotates, and what that spinner represents is that the drive has got one or more outstanding commands issued to the drive from the, from the controller or host bus adapter that's attached to it. Uh, in the middle of that activity spinner, we put an icon of hard drive platters. Now that icon could either be green or amber, and what it represents, the amber light represents the physical drive status. If, in this case, there is a predictive failure. If it was solid amber, it would represent a drive failure. The green light represents the logical drive status. So whenever you have a solid green light, it means you have uh, one or more logical drives configured on this physical drives. If it's blinking, it means that the RAID controller is doing a logical drive um, rebuild or capacity expansion uh, transformation type operation. Uh, what we also have is a, a, a backlight for the locate LED. And the, and the goal here was to provide maximum amount of real estate to really make that drive show up whenever you're trying to locate it for somebody walking up to the rack so that they can quickly identify the drive that uh, has got the locate light on. We've also done something new that we're uh, pretty proud of is the fact that um, we recognize that you know, customers need to pull out and service drives. So, you know, they may get a ticket that shows a particular drive by bay number that they need to pull out and service. Um, and with our old LED technique, uh, there really wasn't anything on there that indicated whether or not the drive, pulling the drive will result in a logical drive failure based upon the RAID fault tolerance level. With the new Gen, uh, HP Smart Drive, uh, we put an icon that, that says do not remove. And we placed that icon right on the button. And we placed it there because it's the touch point that whenever you press that button to pull out the drive, it's warning the, it's warning the customer 
um, that pulling the drive will, will result in a logical drive failure. Now when that light is not lit, the icon is totally hidden from view. Uh, there's not even a faint image of the icon left. And what that provides is confident that if you had a ticket saying that that drive needs to be pulled out in service for whatever reason, that the rate controller has determined that pulling it will not result in a, log in a logical drive failure based upon the fault tolerance level. So what else would you want us to know about the smart drive? Well, in, in addition to uh, reducing the size to get to a common uh, drive cage, in addition to having self-describing icons that gives you an intuitive walk-up look and feel for the drive, and the new do not remove light that gives you confidence when going to service to drive whether or not it, it will cause a logical drive failure, we went ahead and put additional intelligence into our new smart drive. What We've got two things that, that uh, we've added. One is authentication. It's the ability for the controller or the host bus adapter to go out and authenticate the drive so that we can notify customers about any potential counterfeit activity on, on the drive. So we can authenticate it as, gen, as a genuine HP drive. In addition to that, we, we uh, store information about the location of the drive. So now, so now uh, when a drive is installed, the controller will go out and store in the drive what kind of cage it was plugged into, what drive bay number it, it, it was plugged into, the controller model, the firmware version, a couple of serial numbers. Uh, we store lots of information about uh, where that drive was uh, out in the field so that if, if anything ever happens to that drive and it does need to return back to HP, we will have all that information in, in the drive carrier that we can read out and have a better understanding as to uh, what that drive was exposed to and what, what could have led up to the drive failure. In the end, it's all about improving our, our, our uh, quality so that we can work with our suppliers to provide a better quality hard drive for our customers.